developing tonight. More than two dozen students suddenly getting sick at school. The reason for the illness is still a mystery tonight. Local 10 News reporter Nicole Perez is live now from the hospital in Fort Lauderdale where some of those students were taken to be treated. And Nicola, what were their symptoms when they arrived? Well, Calvin, Holy Cross was one of three hospitals the students and that staff member were taken to. Some of the symptoms, though, headaches and seizures, shortness of breath, nosebleeds, and some students even passed out. Another school placed on lockdown in Fort Lauderdale. They were just telling us to stay calm and everything was going to be fine. This time because over two dozen students and one adult got sick. Kids, like, passed out and they weren't feeling well. He's really scared. He said all the other kids are really scared. Over 1,100 students all gathered together for a Thanksgiving prayer service inside the gym at Cardinal Gibbons High School. 26 kids and one staff member were loaded into ambulances and taken to several hospitals with symptoms ranging from headaches and dizziness to nosebleeds. We are trying to, you know, see if there's any way to connect the dots, whether they were in any of the same place or ate any of the same food. Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue responding to the call around noon Monday. Hazmat crews also responding, scouring the school, investigating and testing the air quality. But after conducting several tests for a few hours, they still had no answers. At this time, we have no idea on what it was. Uh, we've searched back and forth. We've done three different samplings. Uh, we've used our monitors and uh, have come up with nothing. And so we still don't know how this happened or how the kids got sick, but we do know that they were released from the hospital around 5 o'clock this afternoon. They're all feeling much better, and the principal says school will go on like normal tomorrow, the last day before the holiday break. Reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, I'm Nicole Perez, Local 10 News. Okay, Nicole, thanks.